Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Where am I today? Well, they tell me I'm in the middle of England. They won't tell me anything else. I've been invited, put on a plane, and flown out by Universal Home Entertainment to celebrate the Blu-ray and DVD release December 21st of No Time to Die. Yeah, we've been doing just a little bit of traveling. Today's really special. I I've been out here freezing, and I don't even mind because my heart is warm, because in the back, you're seeing the DB5, yeah, the Aston Martin that you've been seeing, I don't know, since what? Goldfinger, Thunderball, Goldeneye, Skyfall. He was supposed to bring it back in one piece, not so much, and then boom, it's back in no time to die. But more importantly, it's here at Mallory Manor, and we're going to get up and close and personal. Aston Martin's been good to me today. Let me just put it to you this way because they're going to allow me to walk closer. Will I get to touch it? We're going to find out. Let's take a look. So I couldn't think of a better venue, a more Bondian venue than this. I mean, even with the Ivy in the background. So this right here is the Goldfinger continuation model, sold out in a short amount of time. Let's see, Aston Martin has one, Eon has one and then it went to private collectors. Now, if you had 3.2 million pounds at the time, you could get one. You can't. And I know you're saying that rich uncle that you have could probably scrounge some together, but even if you wanted one, they're sold out. We get to appreciate it today. And here's the thing about this car. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. It's not just metal and rubber. There's something emotional about the DB5. There's a reason why most of us own the Corgi. It's, it's the very reason, I know you've seen the video, that I bought my Aston Martin. It was my dream car to get the 2006 Aston Martin Vantage. This is what started it when I was a child and wanted to covet, to own, but still to be in the presence of something like this, it's a bit hollowed. But here's the thing, for you technophiles out here, the continuation model isn't about art and beauty. It's also about Q gadgets. Let's go inside. So I've got to start with something very simple because as much as I want to talk about the gadgets right away, when I sat down, I actually told everybody, start capturing the tears. You, you get emotional. You can't help but get emotional when you sit in here. This is maybe every James Bond fan's dream come true. You can smell the leather. You can smell the wood. Everything is so sensory. It's all part of the Aston Martin DB5 experience. Ah. All right, but I am here to talk about the gadgets because right here in the center console, it is replete with all the Goldfinger gadgets. You've got the oil slick. You've got the rear smoke. You've got the front ram. You've got the rear ram. You've got the front gun. You've got the roof hatch itself. And by the way, because we want to be in incognito, you've got the license plate. And by the way, since I'm changing the license plates back there, I might as well put up the bullet shield because you never know when you're going to need it. Now, I could often pick up a passenger that's a bit surly. I got that, I got that covered. Because right here, we've got the ejector button. Yeah, I know, don't touch that unless you have to. But I'll tell you one, I'm, I'm sorry, the phone is ringing. Let me just get that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's universal. What's that? I wasn't supposed to get in the car? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. I'm, uh, uh, thank you. Let's go check out the other Aston Martins. All right, so from the DB5, we now visit the Aston Martin V8. Now, what I love about the V8, I'm not just going to call this out right now. It's my favorite. It is a muscle car look, but my gosh, living daylights, Timothy Dalton. Talk about 1987 nostalgia. It is all here. And it's got this shark-like color. The tires, they just feel robust. Everything feels muscle-bound, like it's going to burst through a wall. And you know, in the movies, Living Daylights and No Time to Die, it kind of does just that. But now, it's not just a Dalton car, it's a Daniel Craig car. But if you want something technical, if you want something speedy and quick, you got to go to Nomi's Super Legra. Super Legra, Super Legra, like the Italians do it with fingers, uh, because it's super light. That's what it stands for. This is all carbon fiber, so it's going to move quick, it's going to be quick, and let's face it, if this is a muscle car touring car in the back of us, this one right here, 
This is a race car, and it's going to blow the doors off of everyone. It's not just, can I give you a ride type moment that Nomi does with Bond. It's much, much more. So from Aston Martins in the middle of England to a mystery black box in Pennsylvania, our journey has been pretty long, but like any adventure, it's been incredibly exciting. So I've come home and Universal Home Entertainment has sent me this black box. Now, of course, we're going to do an unboxing. Of course, we're going to tell you what's in the box, because that's what we do here at The Bond Experience. But you want to pay special attention to this, because this is the 4K UHD Blu-ray and digital version of No Time to Die, which releases when this video is premiering on December 21st. But this black box, it's not just any version of the movie. This is a very special limited edition version. Quite frankly, at the time of this premiere, it may be sold out because there's only 700 pieces of this. We're lucky enough that Universal gifted us this particular one. However, you want to pay special attention. Why? Because this is also a contest. Yes, somewhere, Somewhere in the warehouses of Universal is one of these with your name on it. Pretty, pretty cool black box. I'll try not to get the ring light in, David. But you can see it says no time to die. It's got some of the details on the back. But we're going to show you what's in here. And then we're going to give you the details on how you can win one of these and have it in your own home, part of your own collection. You're saying to yourself, David, I, I don't win any of these things. What are the odds? The odds are pretty good they're pretty good because somebody is going to win this. Not mine, not mine, I'm keeping mine. No, one that Universal will send to you. So without further ado, let's jump into this because I'm pretty excited about this. I know that um, I've got my little Q knife here and this has a clear cellophane coating. I have not opened this up yet. I do know what's inside to be fully transparent. Excuse the pun, cellophane, transparent. Dad jokes, table of one. All right, here we go. So as we open it, we see that wonderful no, to, no time to die emblazoning. I've noticed that the products have all had the same consistency. That's Eon. That's Eon really paying attention to this. All right, so we've got a nice sleeve on here. We've got the back with all the movie details. It looks dusty, but that's just because it was just freshly open. It's almost like that powder that you got into the gums as kids. So. I'm going to take the sleeve off very gently. I don't want to rip any of this because as collectors, we like to have all of these things. All right, so it's, it's almost like a book cover. You know how like a, a dust cover of a book protects a book? This is protecting what's underneath because it is the same version again. That's my, how I might have it displayed. But this is like, ah, okay, it's like a clam box. Clam box? Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so we're going to open this up. Let me put it down in my handy dandy display. Oh, oh, okay. So right off the bat, let's get right in here. And again, I have not opened this. This is, uh, this is so cool. All right, so you're seeing a box that says Aston Martin and you see a profile of the DB5. Now let's linger on that for a second because I dressed for those eagle-eyed people in the same outfit that Daniel Craig wears, not screen years, screen accurate, um, that he wears in Matera. One of my favorite scenes, mostly because the DB5 is used to such great effect. Mark Higgins, who is an incredible stunt rally driver, drives that thing like a harp from hell. And it makes one of the Matera scenes so special, the emotion, the action, etc. But we're gonna get into that box. Let's see what's underneath here first. So we're gonna get up and close. All right, so we've got a couple pieces nestled in here. Let me bring that down. All right, all right, let's, let's get up close. So first of all, we have obviously the 4K Ultra HD Collector's Edition right here. And this is bound by a little piece of plastic, which we're just gonna remove. Not a lot of pomp and circumstance around that. And then we have the cover. Now, a lot of you out there were saying, why wouldn't I just get the digital version? Why wouldn't I just download this? Because people like 
collectibles. They like things in their hands. So this is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Digital Coal Collector's Edition. Uh, Bond is back with a vengeance. You see the full color on this side and you've got kind of a foiled, foiled again. No, you've got like a kind of a foil um, mylar type front that's very pretty. And then you've got, oh, this is quite nice. So this has an envelope, black envelope, with a wonderful sticker on the back. We're going to carefully open this up because, yes, I know, collector table of one. Um, I want to open this carefully because I would like to keep all this in one piece because we want to bring it back in one piece. Oh, here we go. Oh, hmm. I'm so glad I opened this carefully. So this is... No Time to Die signature director Kerry Joji Fukunaga. This limited edition DB5 has been created exclusively in celebration of the 4K Ultra HD release of No Time to Die by Aston Martin. It's number 258 of 700. So this DB5, this box that we're going to get into very shortly, was actually created by Aston Martin. And in here, you've got a separate uh, area. That's not the right word, David, but we're not going to cut because this is what we do. This is as if you were opening this up on Christmas morning, New Year's Day, Tuesday, it doesn't matter. Of course, these are really high gloss, thick, boy, you thick, um, thick cards, these character cards. And you can see that we've seen some of these posters before, but these are, you can't appreciate this unless I get up close. The high-res version of these is really nice, and the cardstock is very thick. You've got Nomi, you've got Paloma, and you've got, of course, Q. I'll just put that towards the front. Uh, yeah, really nice cards, really good collectors, and again, it's with the collector in mind. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, a little bit, skosh, a little bit of a collector here, of course. But I've got to say that, again, I think the the Bohm Surprise, the, the centerpiece of this is the box and it's really nestled in there good. You can see, I'm not struggling, but you don't want this also falling out. Ooh, this is, this is bigger than I thought. So you can see kind of the, the thickness and then boom, there's that image again. You've got the 007 on the side. This is much bigger than I expected. Um, when I had seen what this was, I actually thought it was going to be the size of a Corgi. So this is a wonderful surprise. And again, I'm opening it up so carefully because everything wants to be put back. Although if this is nice enough, I may have this displayed in my office. For those of you who have seen my office, um, I like to have all that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut for a moment so I can gently take this out. You don't need to see me opening that. Not exactly movie magic, but all right, here we go. So I got it out of the thing. I just wanted to remove it like a surgeon. You know how these things roll. So I've got, and I cut very carefully around the tape. This thing has been packed to fall from a plane, is what I'm saying. And then, voila. So there you've got the DB5. It's got some protective plastic on the top. I'm gonna to put that down for a second. All right. And let me get up and close. So you can see the top of that. It is really nice. You can see the license plate. Here, let's see if we can um, remove. I'm being so careful. This comes with instructions, which instructions always thrill me and excite me. Ah, okay. So you've got the bottom display there, all right, that you can put everything together. And then you've got these kind of zip ties. We'll take that all out in a second. You got the zip ties on the bottom, but you know, you want to see how this is packed. I know you do. And you've got some instructions, which I, I believe is going to be how to attach it to the base. But here's the coolest thing with this car. Look at the front. This is no normal DB5. I mean, I've got, I've got some 118th scale DB5s. Um, this is something different because you can see that this has the Matera Gatling gun. So the outfit I chose today to, uh, to accessorize with this is perfect because it's, it's the Matera DB5. That is so cool and so detailed. And you've got the mirrors, you've got the bonnet, you've got the boot. I'm using all the UK terms. I didn't say trunk and I didn't say hood. 
Actually, I just did say that, but this is great. Uh, blackout windows, you can't see into the car. That would be a lot of detail, but for something that comes with the Blu-ray and, and the 4K and obviously the digital copy, this is pretty amazing. It's unbelievably sleek and it's huge. It's actually heavy. It's got some serious weight. So very, very cool. Okay, and thanks to the help of a adorable little Aston Martin screwdriver that comes with it, uh, there we go. The car is on the base. Check out the base. You can see the No Time to Die here on the plastic. It looks almost like a, um, a ramp, like a ramp that would take the Aston Martin to you. And on the front, you've got Aston Martin. A little bit of styrofoam left over. This thing is well protected is what we're saying. You can see the Aston Martin uh, because this piece, this this toy, this representation was designed by Aston Martin, which makes it that much more cool. Have a look at that. This is not going back into that box. You must be insane. This is going on display somewhere. It could go here in my No Time to Die display. It probably will go to my office, but that is beautifully displayed worthy. Um, clearly, I think one of the best things in the box, but I can't ignore the fact that at the core of this, you know, there is a movie. Right? I mean, I don't want to ignore that because uh, let me just tell you some of the things that come in this. First of all, this itself, the thing that you can win, and I'm going to tell you in a second. I know you're like, David, the contest, please hurry up. This is the limited edition gift set. I am cheating. Premium limited edition gift set is a must own for diehard Bond fans. It includes No Time to Die on 4K UHD, Blu ray, and a digital copy and an official Aston Martin diecast model, numbered letter of authenticity endorsed by No Time to Die director, Kerry Joji Fukunaga. Very cool. Also comes with six collectible art cards. We showed you that. Uh, but what's very, very cool about this is on this, it's not just the movie. That would probably be enough. And, and the movie looks absolutely amazing on Blu-ray and digital. This also has Bonus features. The bonus features include Anatomy of a Scene of Matera. It is a breakdown of Matera like you've never seen before. I was able to see this bonus feature and it's phenomenal. And you're asking yourself, is there really anything left? I mean, I've, I've, I've researched and scoured this movie. Yes, there is. Uh, keeping it real, the action of No Time to Die. And this is really going to play out extremely well in an upcoming video that I'm a part of that creates or recreates a stunt experience. But no, 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 that's all you get in this video about that, because that's coming up. A global journey, traveling the world, the locations of James Bond. We've always talked about that. This explores that. And designing Bond, which, I don't know, based on the clothing that I'm wearing and everything behind me, maybe this is my favorite part of this. Yes, Siderat is back uh, with a host of other people that talk about not just the design of wardrobe and clothing and props and gadgets, but the environment, the sets, and everything that makes this movie pretty sumptuous to look at and experience. So what's nice is too, it rounds itself out in probably one of the best documentaries uh, as emotionally driven as the movie itself being James Bond, the 45 minute documentary. Many of you saw this on Apple TV, but now you've got it in Blu-ray, you've got it in digital copy. And one of the things that I found is, for me, I found this to be just, the, the lighting was better. I don't know if they bumped up, you know, the or amped up the color on it, but something was a little bit more robust, I think is, is what I'm looking for. And I, I, I watched it on a really good system. You know, I've got great surround sound. I've got a very good TV. So, I mean, that's all going to part, uh, take part in the immersive experience because it was great to see it in the movie, but it's also great to bring it home and now start to scrutinize all the things that we like about the movie. Okay, so I've set everything up here. I've gone through this box. I've told you about what's included in this. And now you're like, about that contest? Here we go. It, I want to make this simple. I don't want you to have to like jump through hoops. So it's in this YouTube video down below, there is a comment section. This is where people go, we love this video. Hey, that's so cool. David, what's wrong with you? Like all those wonderful comments that I love reading. And I read every single one of them, even if I don't respond. But here's what we're going to do. All you need to do is down below is tell me 
who your favorite character from this film is. That's it. Your favorite character and a short sentence. Do not write a dissertation, but a short one sentence around why. Why is this your favorite character? For example, it could be, um, I liked Q the best in this movie because he has a furless cat. Because they come with fur now. I don't know if you're hurt. That's not good. All right, so all you have to do is that. Put your favorite character and a short little why and you're in the contest. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking randomly somebody from the comments section to win this limited edition box and Universal will send it to your doorstep. When does this contest start? It starts right now at the premiere of this video and it goes to the end of Christmas weekend. Okay, so basically uh, it will go up to the 26th, midnight of the 26th. We'll put all the details to below about the contest, but you got to be in it to win it. I know, sounds like the lottery. But trust me, you do. And you want to do this because this is, this is absolutely doable. You're definitely going to want it. Okay, so more videos to come to celebrate the Blu-ray and digital and 4K UHD release of this movie, No Time to Die. And as usual, I want to thank Universal for all of the fun, all the excitement, this incredible journey that I was a part of, and also making this available to you. And this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.